Today also marks one more thing. Oh, the death of the Pac-12 for us. So these will go on the wall. You got yours last week in Tucson. I got mine. No more Pac-12 refs. I guess that might be the biggest takeaway from today, but we will leave that neither here nor there. So signing off, covering a game in the Pac-12 for the final time. I hate it. It's done. Big 12 coming up next. We'll see you all next time. Welcome to Diana Rossi Court. You see it there, the legend, six-time Olympian, three-time WNBA champion, etched forever in Mercury history, right here on the hardwood. All right, Tori, obviously ups, the downs, all of it here in Arizona, but this organization decided to stick with you. Here you are now, spring with champagne, off to the NLCS. What does this all mean to you just to know the journey and know that you're here now? Yeah, personally, I can't be thankful enough to the front office, to ownership. The question everyone's asking, when are the Suns going to win this? Is it Suns in four? Suns in four, baby! Woo! All right, Suns in four, you heard it here first. We've got one thing for you. We want you to dunk the ball, all right? Here's that for you. I'll have you hold it. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Woo! On your St. Patrick's Day, the festivities continue. I'm here with Cooper and Spencer. They're going to do Get on TV. No hands. We have 30 seconds, and we're going to see if you eat more of the Lucky Charms. It's his first bowl today as well, so definitely cheer on. Over here, he's got the trash bag ready to go in case he gets messy. All right, enough talking. Go ahead and start in three. Two, one, let him eat. Oh, you got to jump right in there. Look at that. Get in up close on that. Oh, yeah. Big crowd over here cheering you guys on. Don't let him down. I can't tell who's winning so far. 15 seconds. We got 15 seconds. I want to take a look at this, and Elliot, feel free to pan too. But last year, when you guys lost to Liberty, it was a similar scene, but a sadder scene and I have a lot of video of that and I remember being there and feeling the emotions what does it mean to know especially the seniors they get to turn it around now and experience laying down on the ground in a more joyful way as open division champs well that's life right uh, you get knocked down it's about getting back up here with chef Tilder and a lot of new creations you always get creative how, how do you get creative I, I heard you talking about you know you have to stare at Gonzo's face for a while is, is that <laughs> part of the process Jordan Spurgeon here outside VA House Arena where U of A is getting set to take on TCU. They heard Tommy Lloyd's message about making noise on Friday and based on the people I talked to today, they're ready to bring the energy as they get set to take on the Horn Frogs. So a videographer's worst nightmare when you're told drive through the mud, don't go super fast because now you can see we're going to stay muddy. So when you see mud everywhere, sure Colin can advise this, don't go racing through it. <laughs> Not the smartest, especially if you have a camera in, 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 in your UTV. <laughs> the shot was worth it. You guys saw the shot. I'm dry. So <laughs> we're cool. dry. I'm, He's I'm dry, so we're good. <laughs> Lastly, I got for you, too. Everyone's realizing, okay, this team is talented. You bring in new players as well. But something that I've really noticed is the players that you have on this team are good people. The community involvement that I've seen from guys like a Brandon Fott, who I'm chatting with, I mean, it's, it's remarkable. How does it feel to know that your players are doing everything they can, not just on the field here at Chase Field and all over Major League Baseball, but across the community. Yeah, Jordan, thanks for noticing that. Hey, Sun Devil fans, we're two quarters away from the Territorial Cup, staying right here in Tempe for the fifth consecutive year. We're going to need all of you to be loud in the second half to support your Sun Devils. For the first time since 2002, they get to introduce themselves to fans as the reigning National League champions. And one player on this team who's extra excited to celebrate today is Blaze Alexander, who yesterday got the call to the show. It was an emotional moment with manager Tori Lovello. And quite frankly, he's earned the ability to be on this roster and start on opening day after hitting 400 in spring training. While that is impressive, what stands out more about Blaze Alexander is the energy he brings in the clubhouse and on the field. Manager Tori Lovello is excited to see what he does. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, face up, face up. All right, let's, let's show the camera. Somebody's come back here. 